Hi, uh, welcome to the Artist as Entrepreneur video art demos. Uh, I'm Leslie Davidson um, with the Artist as Entrepreneur .com. <laughs> um, Thank you so much for watching. I am going to be um, tackling some acrylic transfers and other types of transfers this month. Um, this video is about transferring um, photocopies with an ad marker blender marker and I've always wanted to try this so I thank you so much for watching these videos knowing that you're watching them gives me the impetus to actually experiment with all these different types of mediums and techniques that I wouldn't do on my own when I'm just painting I'm content to do what I do and to not experiment as much as I do when I know that you're watching so thank you so much I'm really really grateful that you're watching this. Um, so what I've got here is a photocopy. Okay, so I printed this out from my computer. This is a line drawing that I did with a Pentel brush pen. Pentel brush pen, we've seen these before. And I scanned it into the computer and I printed it out. Then I went and made a photocopy because the way all these transfers work, including the acrylic transfers, is it's the actual toner um, powder pigment kind of stuff that's embedded onto the paper that transfers. Okay, so I'm using an ad marker. Um, and this is like the really old school smelly markers. Oh, wow, that brings me back. I feel like I'm in kindergarten which I can't believe they let us play with these in kindergarten, my God. Anyway, it reeks, it's really, oh, whoops. It's really, really strong. It's xylene or alcohol or whatever it is that's in it. And I wanna place this about here. So I'm placing the photocopy face down. So uh, toner side down. and then you just saturate it with the marker. Now I'm doing this onto a wood panel, a gallery wood panel that I have um, sealed with clear gesso. So it's still got the um, it's still got the wood grain on it. Oh, that didn't work so well. Okay, well, I'm not going to redo it, but that's good, I guess, for transferring the image. It's definitely not good enough to be a final, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh, well, surprise, surprise. Things happen on video. Okay, this one is gessoed uh, gallery support. I love these things. I like them because you can actually sit them on a shelf. You don't necessarily have to hang them. So I'm going to do this one as well. I'm going to try and get them set up here the way I want them. Okay, maybe a bit there. Now, I'd imagine that if I wanted to be able to transfer this in the future and have a really um, much darker, blacker image that I could use in a final as opposed to just kind of a guideline, because that's all that this is doing now is, ooh, smudgy McSmeary. That's all this is working as now is like a guideline. Ooh, that one came off much better. It's a little bit smeary though. Don't, <laughs> don't saturate too much. <laughs> it's okay. Luckily I'll be doing a, oh, this is not acrylic. I did not gesso this. This is paper. Oh, fail. Um, oh, well. These things happen, right? This is actually watercolor paper that I mounted onto the wooden support so that I could paint watercolor on here. Um, and what I've done, though, is because I saturated this so much, it's smeared. Okay, so be careful if you ever want to do this transfer onto paper. Uh, don't saturate it as much as I have. 
because now I have yicky smeary mess. Um, and that one didn't turn out so well. So all together, not as successful a process as I would have hoped, but uh, that's um, transferring with uh, an ad marker and photocopies. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> um, thanks for watching.